Eric Scheidler here, Executive Director of the Pro-Life Action League. You can see I'm in my Pro-Life Action League shirt. We are here on a pedestrian bridge. Um, let me see if I can recall the exact crossroads where the bridge enters. It's on 6th, South 6th Street and Warrenock Avenue in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. We are displaying these banners calling on the Republican Party to defend unborn babies. Um, we are just a, a, about a mile or two from um, downtown Milwaukee where the delegates are arriving to for the convention. We have two banners. You can kind of see through them a little bit. This one says aborted at 15 weeks, and it's a picture of a, a little baby boy who was, who was killed by abortion at 15 weeks to station. We also have a banner that says GOP, defend babies, support moms. We've got one going in the other direction too, you can see down there. Um, we've had an exciting day so far. Shortly after we arrived, some sheriffs arrived and told us that we could not have our banners attached to the chain link fence here. They said we can hold them, we can be up there, but we can't have them affixed. And they showed us the ordinance, and we called our attorneys, and we kind of bought some time. Eventually, we convinced them to let us keep the banners up. Well, I ran over to Home Depot, which is providentially right just two minutes away, like two minutes away. Got a bunch of PVC cut down to seven feet and a bunch of uh, eyelet screws, and we fashioned with zip ties this attachment. So, so we're, we're not actually affixed to the fence anymore. Uh, the sheriffs came back, uh, examined our, our display here, and they were fine with it. They were really appreciative, actually. As you can imagine, law enforcement is really on, on tenor hooks after the assassination attempt on former President Trump uh, this past weekend. So uh, they were super grateful that we were so uh, cooperative. It's kind of a pain. It's sort of dumb because it's the exact same display. It's just now it's not literally attached to the, to the, to the fence. In the midst of all that, uh, the local Fox affiliate came out and did an interview um, about what we're expecting here. And I told them that we want to see the Republicans voice their support for unborn babies, which also means support for their mothers. Uh, we want to see the Republican Party robustly trying to help moms uh, with the things we know that they need. We know that women are telling demographers and, 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 and uh, survey takers, bolsters, that they want to have 2.7 children on average. They're actually having 1.7 children. Guys, there is a child missing from every single home in America. Every family in America is one child short. Um, and abortion is a huge part of, of how that's happening. So we need to offer, offer help. There's concrete things we can do, fiscally responsible things we can do to help families. So we wanna hear a lot of talk about that. Um, I, we, I also commented that, you know, I, I hope that President Trump's um, recent brush with death, you know, he nicked in the ear by a bullet. I mean, that's got to be horrifying uh, that that experience, you know, will, uh, will, 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 I guess, foster a deeper, deeper appreciation for how, how sacred life is and how fleeting, really, and how we should give these children and their mothers every chance at life. Uh, we should not be depriving disabled, uh, disadvantaged women or disabled babies of their right to life, of their right to, to of, of women's rights to motherhood. It's one of their, the most important things um, in the universe. Motherhood and fatherhood, where a lot of us find our fulfillment. We don't want to deny that to people who want it, right? Do we? Not in America. That's not the American dream. So here we are. We're going to be uh, up here for a while now, and we'll be doing the same display during the Democratic National Convention in Chicago in, in, uh, in, in just a few weeks. Uh, you know, putting our voice out there and reminding America what's at stake when it comes to abortion, the lives of actual, actual tiny little babies and broken hearted women. So thank you for watching. Please pray for us. If you're a praying person, uh, you can support us, uh, the gas and money it takes, the new banners we had to make and all that uh, by making a gift at ProLifeAction.org. Thanks for watching. Thanks for everything. God bless you. And God bless all your pro-life endeavors. Take care. Until next time.